Hello. This is your youth pastor, KK. <laughs> you guys know the drill. We will be waiting until more people jump on. Oh, I, I think I need to switch this. What's up, Tornado? What up, Ruby? How art thou? <laughs> I'm gonna wave at you guys. Bam, bam, and another bam. <laughs> T minus like maybe one minute or one minute and a half. We're gonna start. I'm gonna start with tonight's epic lesson. Oh, dude, you texted me that the other, <laughs> other night. Waffles are pancakes with abs. Hmm. Well, I like pancakes, so that lets you know I don't have abs. Hungry. Well, why didn't you eat? Shortest Artist 2.0. What happened to 1.0? Who's, who's Shortest Artist 1.0? That's what I really know. All right, well, I think we've waited long enough. We're going to just go ahead and get started. Anybody who's late, you guys will be able to watch this on Instagram Live or YouTube. Uh, it will be posted as soon as this stream ends. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so, all right, we're going to go ahead and pray in. We're going to go ahead and get started. Lord, we just thank you. Lord, we thank you for your, your mercy. We thank you for your grace. You woke us up this morning. We are so thankful that you kept us safe. And we are thankful, Lord, for your word. Um, and we just pray again, like always, Lord, that you would open our hearts, that you would open our minds, that we would open our eyes to what you have for us tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Cool. So uh, something cool happened um, today. Uh, the Lord ministered to me about uh, something that's really, really important to him. And um, I'll just start off by saying, me and my wife, Maribel, we do something together uh, that some people make fun of us about, but you know, it's all good. Uh, we like to read stories together. So it's really cool because um, when I go to work, uh, I have this like little headset and uh, she calls me at my job. I'm able, I work alone. So she calls me and then she'll just read to me. And then when we get home, we get free time. We just read together. And we were reading this story. It was a, it's a book. It was called, uh, I believe it's called A Shofar Blue or The Shofar Blue. I don't quite know the name. I'll get it uh, after this stream is done. But in the book, it was really cool because um, and really important and just a reminder for all of us who call ourselves Christians and followers of Christ uh, to always make sure that our motives are where they need to be in the story um, it just follows I'm not gonna give any details away except this summary is it just follows a pastor whose goals um, are not aligned with God and he's doing all these things and the God hasn't told him to do these things um, and it, it just he just falls flat on his face so uh, as I was thinking about that the Lord ministered to me with this scripture which is 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 3, verses 3 and 4. And it says this, For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. So right there in those two scriptures, we are getting something that is really, really important to God. God cares about souls. God cares about people being saved. God's will is for all men to be saved. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to happen at the end of the day because we know what scripture says. But God's will is for all men to be saved. And when us as Christians, when we have motivations, when we have motives that aren't about getting people saved, that are about, hey, I just want to be popular. Hey, I don't want to rock the boat. 
I want to do this. I want to do that. I don't know if you guys are noticing a theme about that. I, 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 I. It's supposed to be, Lord, what do you want us to do? Lord, what do you want me to do? Lord, who do you want me to go minister to? Lord, who do you want me to go win for you? That is the goal here, guys. At the end of the day, we are here to spread the gospel. We are here to go win souls for Jesus and praying for them. That is so important, guys. We have to pray for individuals. We pray for them. You know, even if you don't like a person, even if they're your enemy, even if they done something to you, the Lord calls us to pray for those individuals. Because why? His desire is for everybody to be saved. He wants people to be saved. For those who are watching this video, he wants you to be saved. And for those who are saved watching this video, you guys are saved. He wanted you to be saved. Praise God. So never forget this. When you weren't walking with the Lord, guess what? Somebody was praying for you. I know somebody was praying for me when I wasn't walking with the Lord. They were praying hard for me. I never thought I was going to be a Christian. I never thought I would be a Christian. I never in a million years thought I would be a youth pastor. But somebody was praying for me. Somebody that I wronged was praying for me. Uh, somebody that I didn't get along with was praying for me. Somebody who loved me was praying for me. And now I'm saved. So this week, leading up until Friday when we have our youth group, I have a challenge for you guys. One of the things that pa Pastor Jose says to us all the time, especially lately, is let's just not be hearers of the word, but let's be doers of the word. Mm -hmm. When we see what scripture says and we do it, there's something special that happens. We are living out the scriptures. So again, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 3 and 4 says, For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. So let's go ahead and do that. When you look at uh, when you look at verses 1 and 2, because I only gave you guys verses 3 and 4, when you look at verses 1 and 2, it talks about praying for them. So let's do that this week. Let's do that leading up until Friday. Whoever is your enemy, whoever you are desiring to be saved, whoever you need to pray for, I don't care if you need to write it down on a piece of paper and stick it to your wall every time you wake up, or stick it on your face so... Or stick it on your hand so it doesn't leave your sight. Whatever you need to do, you do that. And you pray for that individual. There's a whole bunch of people that Maribel and myself are praying for. Loved ones. People that I, I would love to see walking with Jesus. You gotta pray for them. Because that's the Lord's desire. And whatever the Lord's desire is, that needs to be our desire. Whatever His will is, we want that to be our will. So, you know, just wanted to hit you guys with that real quick. Not going to make this too terribly long. We love you guys. If you guys, again, have anything that you guys need prayer on, you hit us up. You guys have our number. You can uh, instant message us on Instagram or whatever. You guys can get in contact with us. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pray you guys out or pray out. I'm going to call it a night. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for your will. We thank you for your desires, Father. And we just pray that your desires would be our desires, that your will would be our will. Lord, we want to put a smile on your face. Father, there is no one too young to serve you. There's no one too young to pray for people for you. And there's no one too young to go and try winning people for Jesus for you. So, Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you would help us with that and that you would strengthen us with that. And again, Lord, we just want to put a smile on your face. And we pray for the teens. Um, that they would be safe throughout this week. And we pray, Lord, uh, for your will in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Oh, what's up, Jabari? Hi, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Destiny's mom. Um, we're about to log off. If you guys want to check out the full video, go ahead. And I'm going to post it right after I end this. It's going to be on this channel. And it'll be on YouTube. So, see you guys later. Love y'all. See you Friday.